I need you to have the department heads send their budget requirements for the next fiscal year to me. I know it's not procedure, but yeah, I'll take a look at the numbers, make some recommendations. All right, great. Thanks. That was chief of staff business. Well, you said it yourself. You need help reading documentation, so I thought I'd do some reading for you. Departmental budgets are confidential. Now, you don't have authorization to look at those numbers. Well, maybe not, but you need help, and I have the time. Frankie, listen, you cannot break hospital policy just because you're the chief of staff's son. So, you gonna write me up? Yes. Wow. You overstepped. Now, if you're not going to listen to me, I have no choice. You will go before the disciplinary board. Are you kidding me? Look, I am your superior. And you have repeatedly chosen to do exactly what I told you not to. You know what? Just get to work. And I expect to see you in my office at the end of your shift. So, you want to tell me why I'm here? We can be patient. I need to help my wife a little more than I am. I need to understand her more. I need to feel what she needs. Well, from where I'm standing, you're doing everything you can yeah. and more. I know. I'm trying. But I can't really help her. I mean, uh, know what she's going through unless I go there myself. I need to go blind. I thought I heard someone following me. So, are you going to tell me what's going on between you and my brother, or am I going to have to beat it out of you? I'd like to see you try. Fine. JR isn't the only strong one and tough one in this family. So, what will it be, dude? I don't know, dude. I mean, I wish I had a better story. But I work IT. I run errands, that's it. JR has lots of employees to do IT and run errands. I know what you do. I know. He hired you because he needs someone off the books, under the radar. Or maybe just because I'm so brilliant and talented. No, that's totally not it. Thanks. Look, listen. I just hope that you know what you're getting yourself into. I've, I've seen my brother like this before. Trying to prove himself. He's kind of a master of the universe. I mean, what does he have to prove? My dad. He laid a big trip on him. Yeah, well, fathers can do that. Yeah, but JR is always trying to prove that he's the most Chandler out of all of us. He's always fighting everything and everyone. Caleb, Scott, even Marissa. Wow, one big happy family. Guess I'm not missing too much by flying so low. Even though my family, they can be a pain and crazy intense. I love them. Yeah, whatever. Um, I've still got some work to do, so... Um, excuse me, Asher. You still haven't told me what kind of work that you do. You're asking if I'm willing to tell the court that J.R. slept with his father's wife? It's your call. She still lives in the house, doesn't she? Yeah, so far. Mm. Oh my God, is the law always this fun? Oh no, don't let this spoil you. <laughs> there is one other thing. It's um, about me, actually. I slept with Scott. It was before they were married. But you were married to J.R.? Yeah. Yeah, it was a mistake. I, I thought that Annie and JR were together, and I, I Listen, ran home. I want you to do yourself a huge favor. After I win this case for you, I want you to get as far away as you can from that family. I want flow. I want the guests moving and mingling. I'll be busy circulating, so I won't have time to make sure all the appetizers are hot or the champagne glasses are full. I'll take care of everything. Great. Thank you. That's why I hired you. Let's see. Mommy, look! What? These are for your party. Did you pick these all by yourself? Polly, help me. Oh, they are beautiful. Oh, and they smell good, too, just like you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, hey, are you all packed and ready to go for your dad's house? Huh? Yeah. I wish you could stay for the party, but I will tell you every detail when I pick you up tomorrow. Deal? 
<laughs> Deal. Oh, did you see Mommy's dress? Isn't it pretty? Oh, you look like a princess. Oh, no, you're the princess. Princess Emmeline. Hey. Talk to me. You're absolutely sure that Scott can't make it tonight? Perfect. How's it coming on the custody front? Well, he hasn't practiced in 20 years. You should mop the floor with him. I'm aware of Caleb's reputation. And you're aware of mine. Why are you still here? My guests are going to be arriving any minute. It's just on my way out. Uh, hold on. Um, have you talked to Scott? Why would Scott call me? Well, his plane should have landed by now, and I can't reach him on his cell phone. If there was a problem with the jet, I would have been notified. Well, the storm's approaching. Maybe they were delayed. He'll be here. He promised. Mrs. Chandler, the reporter from the bulletin. Hi. Kelly Brock, nice to meet you. Hi. Mr. Chandler, I would love to interview you. Oh, JR's uh, just leaving, actually. This is Scott and Annie's event. It's guaranteed to be one of a kind. Unfortunately, I have prior commitments. No time for a fast quote? No, you know what? JR quote. already has plans that he's already late to. So, isn't yes, that right? That's right, yes. Enjoy. Looks like it's going to be quite the party. Yes, the cream of Pine Valley is going to be here. Scott and I really pulled out all the stops. It's kind of like a um, coming out party for us. See, we didn't have a big wedding reception, so this is kind of our opportunity to, you know, present ourselves as a real couple on the scene. <laughs> Do you mind a few pictures? Oh, no, not at all, please. Is your husband here? I'd love to get a shot with both of you. He should be here any second. Hey, you. Hi. Nana says you've been drawing. Yep, a picture for you. Oh, wow. Well, we'll definitely get a special place on the fridge. He's becoming quite the artist. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see it, AJ. Ugh, thank God. Normal people, happy people. <laughs> Tough day. Nothing a little hug from my little nephew can't cure. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Oh, I'm all better already. Um, listen, um, why don't you go back and back and finish that masterpiece, okay? Okay. So, you wouldn't happen to have some extra ice cream laying around here? I'm gonna pay for it. No, I know, honey. You can have all the free ice cream you want. Um, it's just... Jared didn't tell you? I'm suing primary custody of AJ. Why would you want to take AJ away? The house is poison, Colby. I mean, even with you there to watch out for AJ, JR is so consumed with Chandler and his battles. I know that he loves our son, but from what I've seen, AJ's just gonna end up as collateral damage. Marissa, my mom and dad, they went to war over me. I know that they loved me, but the fighting and the hate and the anger. Please, do not do this to AJ. I have no other choice. I'm gonna go see if he's ready, okay? This is really bad. Listen, Marissa would not hurt AJ for the world, but she's got to get that kid out of the house. How do I stop all the fighting? They are Scott and it never ends. I know, but that's not your job. I just wish that my dad would come back. You know, he would fix all the craziness that's going on. No, I know he would. He brings his own kind of craziness. You know, I just, I miss him. I know you miss him, and I'm worried about you. Me? Why are you worried about me? Are you still hanging around with that Asher Pike kid? Yeah, I mean, he's friends with Damon, and he's working for JR You now. know the kind of work that he's doing? Mm -hmm. Asher attacked Caleb, all right? Knocked him out cold. You're kidding. No. I wish I was. Honey, that Asher is trouble. Do yourself a favor and stay clear of him. Yeah. 
You sure? Junior strikes again. <laughs> this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I think you're doing great. I'm destroying the place. You kidding me? No, 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 no. You're getting your sea legs. Really? Sea legs? Jake? No, I didn't joke. mean it like that. It's just because the word C in there. Damn it. Okay, why don't you why don't you take a break? I'm not taking a break. Angela doesn't get to take a break. She doesn't get to take off a blindfold and all of a sudden everything is okay. I need to memorize every bit of this place. I need to do more than just hold her hand and tell her everything is gonna be okay. I need to know what she needs, Jake. I, I got it. Her spare cane. Her spare cane. You see it? Yeah. It's um. I do. But under I the counter. You, I don't think it's a very good idea to be doing this inside the house. No, well, that's why we're taking this bad boy outside. We're doing what? No, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think oh, that's a on, good come idea. Come on, come on. You know I'm going to do this with or without you. Come on. All right, come on. I'll help you. I'll get the door. You take it easy. Go ahead. You're going in the perfectly right direction. It's your first day, Angie. All right. Your son's here. Ah, oh, I should have known that. Mind reading is on tomorrow's schedule. <laughs> I'll see you then. Hey, yeah, first Dr. thing. Dr. White, call your office. Dr. White, call your office. Dr. White, call your office. Frankie, Dr. do you have a minute? Sure. Dr. Ponce. To the delivery room. Dr. Ponce. Thank you. For what? Ponce. Letting me do this myself. And I'm sorry about earlier. Inside these walls were doctor and chief of staff. You told me that a thousand times, but I can't turn off being your son when I clock in. That's exactly what you need to do. But I overreacted. You know, I guess I'm just afraid that people will feel sorry for me. I'm sorry. No, no, you don't have to apologize. I deserve it, so... If you want to write me up... Oh. Write me I'm up. I'm not going to write you up. The next time I will knock you upside the head with my cane. Uh, <laughs> well, lesson learned. Sweetheart... You know, when you injured your hands, I helped you. But you were the one who had to find the strength, the courage to use those hands again to treat patients again. That's what I need to do. Can you understand that? 